Welcome everyone to a very special video. Today we are once again going to be doing challenges in the $400 ESL Cup. And today we're going to be doing one of the hardest challenges ever. One of my personal favorites. I'm going to planetary rush every single game against Grandmasters and Pros and see how far we get. First opponent, a Grandmaster Protoss ranked 116 in Europe. Let's do it. All right, here we go. The map is Grassfan. His name is Rostock, and you guys can see that very shiny Grandmaster board. And I'm pretty scared. I'm going to be honest, guys. If this was a best of one, I think I would feel pretty confident, you know. I've been honing my planetary rush skills. I've been getting better and better, finding more variations. But this is a best of three. To win this series, I'm going to have to win two games out of a potential three with planetary rushes. Now, the first game, it's, there's going to be an element of surprise there, safe to say, right? But the second and the third game, I don't know, guys. It's going to be very hard. Now, let's analyze the map and do the best build. So, we have a bunch of builds that work quite well. I've been doing Reaper Hellion. I've been doing Hellion Drop. Uh, I've also been doing a cycle. Well, actually, I only did that once or twice, but it seemed pretty strong. And one of my other builds was going for a fast tank push. Now, this map does not have a ramp into the natural. So I think I'm either going to go for the Reaper Hellion and try to bust down the front. Or I'm going to go for the Cyclones. I'm not quite sure what is the best option yet. I guess maybe this is one of those, uh, you know, games where I'm just going to let my hands and brain do the work without trying to think too much. Well, I guess, you know, if my brain does the work, then I am thinking after all. I'll use my automatic brain. That's probably not a thing, but I'm going to use my automatic brain to figure it out. Now, I have to admit, Rostock, pretty decent Grandmaster Protoss. I don't remember playing against him. It's very likely I've played him at some point in the challenges. But I don't remember. And the sad part about that is, is that I don't know his style. I don't know if he's like a Stargate kind of guy. I don't know if he likes to play Blink, if he likes to all in, play macro. Like I quite literally don't know anything about him. Also didn't have time to check his match history or anything like that. Uh, the one thing I can hope is that we didn't accidentally come across it with our Planetary Rush series. Because then, you know, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. And it was already just difficult enough. I'm going to go for a factory. I think it might also be good for me to check out what he does with his probe scout to decide what we're going to do. Oh, he's going to go for a very fast recall. Okay. He didn't even wait for my Reaper to finish. So let's see. A normally timed Nexus there. I'm just going to go into his main. Be a little bit annoying, perhaps. Let's see if he has a Reaper wall. He does have a Reaper wall. Uh, and I'm going to go for a reactor right away. I think usually I would just make Reapers one by one and then add Cyclones. But... I also felt like I just didn't have enough Reapers to really make something work. So I'm just going to go for mass Reapers, I think. Can I, for I think I need one more in gas right already. There we go. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit nervous here because I'm doing this build on the flow. There's also a caster in the lobby and this gonna, is going to be an absolutely absurd thing to see. Can I make this happen against such a good player, guys? We're going to find out. Now, the reason why this Reaper is here is because I really want... Oh, he didn't actually get a hit off. I really want to see the tech. Okay, it is a Twilight Council. I think I... No, Twilight Council is alright, actually. I was going to say I would have rather seen a Stargate because I'm going for a Cyclone. But Twilight Council is alright. We're doing a good micro job with the Reaper here. Haven't taken a hit yet. And I'm going to send my first Cyclone across the map. Let's get the last SCV in gas. That one was actually following my SCV on accident, so it wasn't really uh, getting anything done. Looks like we're being chased. Well, obviously, you can imagine I'm pretty happy being chased here. Uh, knowing my, you know, my CC is that much less likely to be spotted. So I'm going to go up to three Reapers. This is a very weird squad they have out on the map. It's very possible. We're just going to be able to catch an Adept with this. But if my opponent is smart, he probably shouldn't be moving out with an Adept knowing that I went for double gas on one base. Let's see, I'm just going to go ahead with these Reapers. If he finds his command center, it would be a disaster, but then at least we could kill the uh, the Adept, right? That's the plan here. Now, there's nothing to be found yet. Let's see what he has at the front. He has, oh, he has a battery. Okay, that is that is pretty scary. Now, there's two ways we can do this. I can also put, MFE, that's a better idea. I'm going to put it down right there, and I can kill the pylon as well. And then I can always switch targets. Keep that in mind. Okay, I'm going I'm to try to be smart about this. I'm going to use my Cyclone to snipe the battery. Oh, he's actually... Oh, he's coming here. Oh, that's a free stalker, guys. He's not going to be back in time. Going to move back with that one. There we go. And now, wait, he's actually... No, I'm going to go for the front, I think. I do really want to go for the front here. Let's see, which one should I go for? It's a hard decision. Oh, there's going to be another adept dying. That's nice. There we go. Let's move that one back. And now I'm going to make a planetary on his base. I'm going to start making a command center in my base as well to try and transition from this. He's going to be depowered for a while. We have a second cyclone coming in. though. That could be two units dead already. That is absolutely massive. He's feeling the pressure of that planetary. He's trying to get forward. He needs to use... 
Why is he not using a battery? He used the Chrono Boost instead of the battery overcharge. Oh no, guys. Planetary distraction to Grandmaster has done it in a tournament. Look what happened here. This Chrono Boost should have been a battery overcharge. He had no energy on the next side. He couldn't overcharge the battery. That would have just saved the Stalkers and made this game way harder. But I think... Wait, did he only have one gate? Oh no, he's 2k. Okay, that's, that's already pretty greedy as well. Especially playing as a double gas. But yeah, we got really lucky. The planetary had like no impact here besides forcing my opponent to come out, which is good. But that's a beautiful game one. I couldn't have wished for it to start better. Let's go for game number two. Game number two on Royal Blood. And I feel like this is where the adventure really begins. What is someone gonna do on game two in a best of three against planetary rushes only? That's what I'm most curious about. And what should I do in a reaction? Now, I do want to say something real quick, guys. Maybe, maybe he's going to prove me wrong, but in game one, he wrote good luck and fun in the lobby. Uh, game two, he didn't. So I think we might have gotten to him a little bit with that first planetary rush. Now, I feel like this game, I should probably go for the Hellion version. And the main reason I'm saying that is because the Hellion version, I will typically build it a little bit further away. Like get a starport here, command send it there. And maybe it's a little bit safer. All right, there we go. Good luck and fun. Good on you, Rostock. He didn't let it get to him being planetary rush. He still uh, grabbed back to his good manners. That's always nice to see. Uh, still going to do another one though. So I hope he's ready for, uh, or I hope for him that he's ready to survive it, I should say. Hope for us that we can keep our tournament run going. I already had a little bit of a sneak peek at the bracket and I saw that uh, we, we have a pretty nice ladder going up in terms of opponents i think if we would win this we're gonna play against cuckoo who's about a 6k to 6.2k terran which let's be honest we're probably not gonna get past that but if we do we would then play against radada who's a 6.5k zerg so we do definitely have our steps laid out for us but for now uh, I really think we still need to focus on winning this one. We kind of got a little bit of a free freebie in the first game because I think my opponent's head just kind of exploded during that attack. But uh, obviously in game two, we can't count on the same luck. So let's just scout it diligently and see what's going on. Now, normally I went for a marine, I think. I do have enough gas. I think I might have played gas first on accident. I'm not sure if I was intending to play gas first. I'm actually confused myself right now. Because I have a lot of gas. I, I guess I was intending to play gas first. I'll just go for a Reaper then. And then a Reactor. Keep in mind, um, I do need to send a second SCV out on the map. Because I want to proxy both a Starport and a Command Center. Uh, I'm kind of afraid my opponent is just going to be scouting everywhere, by the way. Like that's... Ooh, there's no Nexus here. Okay, this is, this is not scouting. This is something else. Let's see what's going on here. This is definitely looking like a cheese. But what kind of a cheese is it? That we don't know. I'm definitely going to have to move away from the plan um of doing the proxy starport i think obviously i'm still gonna do a proxy uh, command center because that's literally my entire strategy but uh, there is something going on here and it is not very nice i'm gonna build a bunker over there and then i'm just gonna try and find whatever is being proxied it, it could also be a proxy nexus i guess technically uh maybe like a hidden base or like a fake one base all in those things it could all be um, and in that case, he would definitely have us good because our uh, build is already a little bit messed up. Now, we haven't found anything close, which makes me believe uh, that we might not be getting attacked anymore. Good thing I can always salvage the bunker. I was thinking about canceling it, but keep in mind, we can always salvage it if we need to. Let's see. Yeah, there's probably something in the corner of the map. I would guess it is most likely a nexus. Or maybe he went for a hidden twilight and is then making a nexus on his natural. Oh, there are gold bases on this map. I do need to remember that. Uh, te technically, he could be taking that gold base right now. Let's see if there's anything here. There's nothing on this side of the map. Then we're going to check over here and back in his natural. And we're going to send the cyclone to um, check the bottom right for us. I think that makes the most sense. Oh, wait. Where, where was that Stargate? How did we miss that, huh? I'm actually hella confused. Oh, I, I guess I can already see where it is on the mini map. I'm not sure if you can escape on this map with the Oracle. Oh, you can, okay. Uh, I, I guess it must be right there then. Let's see if he actually has a base. I need to make an engineering bay as well. So let's go for that. Yeah, okay. So it was a, a proxy Oracle expand or did he actually... Yeah, proxy Oracle expand into blink. Hmm, can we break this? I don't know. This, this looks kind of terrifying, I have to say. Uh, and we barely missed the star. I guess the target must be here somewhere. Or did I miss another really obvious spot? I mean, it's possible. Like, my scouting is not always perfect, right? Like, there's definitely a decent chance that I just missed uh, a really convenient spot. And you guys are shaking your head like, oh my god, Mark. Get a grip. 
get a hold of yourself. But all right, here we're gonna go. This the what's it called? The blink is not gonna be finished yet, and that's where I'm gonna get most of my power from. The fact that he's gonna have normal stalkers. There we go. I can do, gonna do a scan here actually. I got the double lock on. He's gonna lose two stalkers to that. Oh my god, I got two stalkers. That is such a massive start. And now we're gonna get control of the natural. I'm not quite sure where I can put the command center. I'm gonna have to put it there. There we go. And then I'll start the planetary right here. These SUVs probably have to go back. Uh, actually, I need to be a little bit smarter about this. No, I'm gonna move it. Because this is gonna be able to be attacked from the high ground. I need to be a little bit smarter about this and actually expand behind this, I think. Um, and put the planetary in a position where I can contain him forever, basically. That is the plan. He might also be attacking me at some point. Should I make a turret here? Yeah, why not? I think I might as well. Maybe I should skip unit production as well for a little bit. My tank has arrived, which is super nice. I'm actually going to make a turret next to it. And then I can move the rest of my units back. That's the plan. Because he's going to blink out of his own base at some point. Um, and just kind of own me, I guess, with blink stalkers if I don't have enough units at home. There is that unit as well. There we go. Oh, the turret's going to be massive. You might try to kill the tank here. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Uh, I'm going to go for the repair, I think. Let's see. I'm going to repair it. And then as soon as it's repaired enough... Oh, come here, please. Tank, where... Well, I, I guess it works. I wanted it to come a little bit on an easier path. But I guess this works after all. I'm going to send these back as well. The Oracle is going to die now, which is great. Though I do not have any economy myself. I did not find a gold base, which... I guess it's kind of reassuring because we're one base against one base. Plus, I have the planetary on his side of the map. Let's see. Let's end this here. I mean, it's a tank. A tank and one planetary. It, it definitely can't stop an infinite amount of stalkers. But it might be able to stop enough of them. Gonna get some to repair. He's gonna blink on top, which is a good move. But he is gonna lose a stalker for that, which is good for us. Yeah, and now we really need to get going with our own expansion. Um, so I'm just gonna try to split my units as well as I can. Maybe something like this. This one can go up here. And then this tank can go in this little nook over here. And then we're going to start the command center on the low ground. I do think as good as it looked, my opponent's tech is better than me. I don't have like stim on the way or anything like that. But my opponent does have very likely soon to be a lot of blink stalkers. I'm surprised that he kept finding those units all the time, by the way. Now, it doesn't seem like he's taking another base. I think the best move for him would be to actually kill this planetary. And then just kind of own me with his superior tech. But if he's just going to try to kill me on one base, I yeah, I really don't think that's the right, uh, right choice here. I guess there's an option that he goes for charge as well. Charge is extremely good against Terrans that don't have stim, by the way. Like, if you have stimless marines and tanks against charge, you might cry. Like, it's not, it's not great. Here we go. Oh, some really good tank shots there. I'm actually going to move this one a little bit closer. Let's see, good thing I have these cyclones. Oh, I needed to micro it a little bit better. There we go. So I was going to say, good thing we have these cyclones because I could lock on, but then my own marines blocked it, which was unfortunate. Oh, that blink on is not great, guys. I have a lot... I have more tanks than he thought. I had the extra tank in the back. A third tank is going to spawn. All those stalkers are going to die, and we have successfully defended. And we just 2 out a Grandmaster Protoss almost top 100 in Europe with freaking planetary rushes. And this game was beautiful because it was crazy. I love the chaos. Actually, a situation I haven't been in can guarantee you guys he has never been in this situation either because let's be honest who, who ever, ever played a game like this but that's fantastic our next match is probably going to be against a 6k plus terran let's do it all right here we go guys infest cuckoo on dragon scales the biggest challenge of planetary rush yet now i need to remind it's not actually a part of the of this challenge series to gem this is an esl code episode but still actually we did play against a really good protoss the other day which might have been even higher mmr but for a best of three at this level this is going to be the hardest challenge yet for planetary rush and probably for any of my challenges really um at least the x2gm series basically right now what i'm gonna do for the first map is I kind of try to look at the maps one by one and see what strategy I could do where because I think against Terran it's even more problematic the fact that they can blind counter me in a second game because the first game it has a decent chance of working it's a player like this maybe I have like a 30% chance right but after this he can just send the Reaper to scout for the command center and I don't really have an answer for that the only answer is building it so far away that I don't scout it so I think I need to make use of this opportunity by building it really close in the first game and trying to get like a hardcore rush going that I can maybe even win with right away rather than just containing. So I think I'm gonna build my command center here. I do need to be careful playing as Cuckoo by the way. Cuckoo is a little bit of a cheesy boy. 
He really likes doing proxy reapers. Uh, if I'm trying to build a command center on his side of the map and he's proxying reapers, that could also be quite scary for me, obviously. So uh, I guess we're just going to try to sniff out what he's doing. And if he's not doing anything too crazy, I'm going to build the command center really close to his base. Hope he doesn't scout it because in TVT that thing kind of happens, especially playing against good Terrans. There's just a chance that they're going to scout it and that would make it very anticlimactic. So I do want to avoid that. I'm just going to go on as normal. I'm going to build a depot over here. Uh, to maybe scout the reapers jumping up later on and first of all i just want to see if he has a barracks in his main base because like i said he really does like his cheese and at this point maybe he doesn't know i'm doing something crazy okay so he does have a barracks and the barracks is built a little bit further back which shows to me that he wanted to make um a factory right there and uh, lz would probably have walled off with it now i'm gonna hide my SUV at first like there's actually a few you know opportunities here so think about it this way right would he scout at the timing that i make my command center probably not if he were to scout he would probably be checking like right now for a proxy and not scout again later so i'm gonna hide my suv and then i'm gonna go back and build the command center and it, it, it's it's gonna be really crazy like i'm actually very nervous for this because i feel like there's just a decent chance that we get spotted but i'm just gonna go for it guys no fear i don't oh there it is i knew he was gonna send a reaper across he is one of those guys I'm going to build the command center. There we go. This is actually a pretty good distraction, by the way. The fact that he's going to jump into my main. He's going to see. This looks completely... This is actually pretty good. This looks completely normal to me. To him, rather. And especially because he's not going to scout the natural. He's now going to run away for the Hellion. And now we just hope he doesn't take that path. If he takes this path back with the Reaper instead of through the middle, we are going to be quite sad. He actually didn't see the lack of natural, by the way, I believe. He didn't see it because he went back to the main to chase the Reaper a little bit. Now, at this point, we can only pray. We really need a game one victory here, of course, uh, to make this happen. Like, that is that is obvious at this point. I mean, I can always bring another SEV and try to make something happen. Um, it also sucks that he scouted my... Oh, wait, is that... Okay. Wait, did he send that on accident, perhaps? Or what happened with that one? Oh, he has a few units up here as well. So, he is playing a normal multi-unit uh, opener, I want to say. I, I, I kind of expected that he might be going for a really fast tank or something. Because he knows my opener is with like a reactor first. Um, and I'm going to be pumping out a lot of Reaper Heli. This is an opener I actually really like outside of the planetary. I mean, I like my planetary too, but that is not the typical opener I would play, right? So here we go. We're going to go in. And I hope he doesn't have enough to deal with. This is going to be very exciting here. He's going to see my quest and fly in now. He's going to be like, oh my god, Mark, why are you going to do this to me? Now, I'm arriving with my units. He is making a cyclone. Pretty sure about that. I didn't actually see that with of mine. That was unfortunate. So I'm going to put it down. Here we go. Command center is going to land. The best part is, by the way, I've actually done this against against him before. What? Let, let's just pretend it's a normal build. That is the plan here. I'm just pretending this is a normal build now. Let's try to get that Reaper. Try to force some lock-ons. I do need to repair as well as I can. Oh, nice. We actually killed that Hellion over there. That is beautiful. Can we get a Reaper? Doesn't look like it. Okay. There, we almost got one. It was really close. Oh, he locked onto the SUV. I mean, it's kind of painful, but at the same time... It does mean he's not going to kill a lot of my other units here. Okay, so the planetary is going to finish for now. He has a banshee of all things. Okay, that is highly interesting. Uh, then I think I might just go for the main or something. Uh, let's see what I can find here. Maybe some kind of damage would be nice. Looks like it's not going to happen. He does have a tank as well. Oh, he's actually going to scan. Does he kill that? Oh, he barely doesn't kill it. That's nice. I mean, the planetary is going to go down. I did do some damage to his command center, I guess. That is the most I could do. But yeah, like I said, guys, this is going to be an incredibly difficult challenge. Now, maybe I can survive at home. Um, and do some damage on the counter. I'm not going to have a cyclone, which is going to make this very rough. Let's uh, try to repair these units. And I, what am I going to drop here? I'm going to drop something. I just don't know what it is. I'm, maybe I can drop both my Hellions and my Reapers. I kind of wanted to choose between them. But technically, I could drop both. Let's get... Uh, oh, wait. There's more Hellions in there than I thought. Yeah, then I'll just go for the Hellions instead. I thought it was only two Hellions there for a second. Now, my Raven is going to finish pretty soon. Um, there is some units there. Or rather, there is one Banshee there. Which is going to be a little bit annoying. I'm going to be able to kill those Reapers for free, which is nice. There we go. Those are not going to do anything. And then maybe I can do some damage to that Banshee. I do want to go for a uh, double gas. Wait, I let that live. Oops. I do want to go for a double gas really fast. Maybe follow this up with uh, some kind of double starport play. That would be nice. I'm going to try to activate my 
what's it called try to activate my reapers as well on the bottom side though realistically he is gonna have that tank probably just sieged afk in his natural and i don't know if i can do anything against it with my reapers uh, i do need a second starport i don't think there's any way i can win this without going for a second starport play so there we go i do have these reapers i did miss one on accident actually now if i remember correctly he did see this medevac so i want to be super careful with it maybe i can like he does have a few units already standing there ready to gun it down uh probably the cyclone as well if i had to guess yeah exactly so i'm just gonna go here he's gonna scan for it actually don't really mind that because the hellions were pretty much useless and the scan is 200 minerals so uh yeah damage is damage i guess it's not the best would have wished for maybe a couple SUV kills as well but we're gonna have to do with what we have now i'm kind of already trying to think of really cool strategies for the next game keep in mind this is also a best of three and i would love something that could actually work i, I had an idea in mind where i go for a planetary rush on the third command center instead and kind of try to get an air air control push going at the front at the same time that could be very very interesting now i don't have a turret i'm really happy that I, oh nice we're gonna be able to kill that banshee okay there we go i was gonna say i was gonna make a turret here uh now he's just gonna save me the effort of making that turret which is nice let's drop a grenade now i'm actually gonna maybe this could be a pretty good move here i'm gonna go around and see if i can get into the natural like maybe i can even up the game a little bit in some way let's see maybe there's nothing there okay there is a few units here there we go we're gonna kill a few units wait he didn't actually bring everything that is interesting i mean i killed like five marines already that's pretty nice see was that a sixth marine that i killed that was really not bad actually pretty happy with that now, let's see he's probably right here if i have to guess else he wouldn't scan so i'm gonna build a command center at home uh, and then maybe we can jump into the main as well. Let's kill these SUVs. I mean, these Reapers are doing a fantastic job, actually. The Reapers are, well, are keeping the hope in this game alive for me. Gonna be able to kill a few more Marines here as well. Ooh, he's gonna catch them eventually. That's unfortunate, but let's be honest. They did their job more than, more than we could ever have hoped for. So I'm gonna make a turret there just for maybe a YOLO drop later. He's gonna see I'm making a third command center. Something that's a little bit scary is that he most likely has five or six siege tanks, and I only have three. Now, that can be mitigated by really good usage of raven spells, but more likely, uh, it's, it's gonna be pretty tough. Oh, wait, actually, this does look like a decent fight here. Here we go. Gonna be able to get something for free. That is nice. Is he just gonna go back here, or is he actually gonna stay around? I think he might have siege there. I'm not 100% sure, but he might have. Let's see. Oh, he's going for a base trade. Okay. Oh, no, he's actually here. Wait, what? Oh, no, I, I, I miss hotkeyed something. I don't know what it was, but I did miss hotkey something. We're going to kill all of these for almost free, though. That is fantastic. Can I kill that in time? I mean, we killed so many C-Sec. That is actually insane. I did misread the situation a little bit because it looked like a full-on base trade, but instead he sent Marines across the map. And now we're kind of stranded. I think if I had the tank closer to that low ground, we would have been completely fine. But now it's definitely looking a little bit rough. Let's kill all of those SUVs. We did kill those uh, Marines there, which is super nice. Let's see if we can do some damage to that. Maybe I should be going for a Liberator here. That could be pretty nice. Okay, I did some damage to that Medivac as well. Let's get the guys back in gas. He is probably... I kind of feel like he's moving across the map. I'm not 100% sure, but I do have to take the risk at this point and just go for it. Because if I don't kill him right now, um, I don't think there's much I can really do about it, to be fair. Okay, we're going to land these because we have to make a stand. But no, ah, he has one one as well. He has way too much stuff. And there we go. Guys, if you look at the supply, this one was honestly close despite the absolutely filled planetary rush. I feel like if this was a little bit tighter, maybe if I had the tank sieged in my natural realizing that he was only going to send his marine right away i really think this could have been a dub i would have had to macro out of it his production was really good so don't get me wrong we would have been behind but maybe it was possible but it's pretty hopeful let's try to do a better build next game is going to be hard but let's do it all right game number two on grass fam guys and i have two possibilities here i think no matter what we have to switch away from the reaper hellion and i say that because i felt like against the high level terrans the reaper hellion micro uh, will be too good on their side so if you notice how good he was microing last game when i was pressuring him is i couldn't really get that many units for free and then the tank spawns and the hold seems a little bit too easy if i look at that game i think i could have microed a little bit better um he could have microed a lot better probably and i don't really see the room to win there so i'm gonna change my strategy 
This game, I'm gonna go for Cyclones. I was actually debating whether I would do my third command center for the first time ever in a planetary rush, but I think I still wanna go for the second one because else the build is just a little bit too bad. Like I can't imagine going for a double gas expand with Cyclones and then proxying another command center because realistically, uh, that's gonna arrive when he has like three siege tanks and some vikings you know so that's probably not quite it but this map uh, does not have a ramp on the natural so cyclones are gonna be pretty good here now once again we can't get ahead of ourselves it's still the early game we still have to make sure uh, our opponent cuckoo is not doing a proxy reaper and the most scary thing of all guys where do you build the command center in game number two of a best of three when you're doing planetary rushes only that's going to be absolutely terrifying and last game i was already nervous that it was going to get found now i'm going to be even more nervous like last game i basically built it like right here right so that's where he might check so maybe i could build it like it, it just feels a little bit far away you know if i would build it all the way at the bottom here or something it just feels a little bit far away but i guess you have to do what you have to do it's better than just getting your CC scouted and dying immediately. That would be, you know, the most unfortunate of all the options. Now, let's see. Are we getting proxy racks? We are not. Probably a double gas as well. Uh, he doesn't really seem like a... Yeah, exactly. That, that, that's maybe a little bit of an assumption, but I've played against him before. I have prior knowledge. He doesn't really seem like a, a Reaper expand kind of guy. Like, he seems like he's always going to go for that double gas. I'm going to send my Reaper across instantly. Cuckoo is very aggressive with his Reapers. Um... And he's pretty good at microing them as well. So if I lose my own Reaper, it's going to take away a little of my aggression. But I kind of want to go for the potential. I don't want to be scared. I want to try to get as much damage as possible and win the game pretty early, right? Because, I mean, obviously I have to win pretty early with a planetary rush. But I want to get any dub that I can. So there's a command center here. I'm already going to be annoying and attack it. There we go. That's going to be one of them down. And I was make... Oh, that's actually crazy by him. He's going to lose that Reaper, guys. That is crazy. Okay, beautiful start. That could not be any better. Uh, and now I have my planet there. He saw that my opening was quote-unquote standard. I mean, obviously, you guys know it's not standard, but he might not realize that right away. He might not know that in these challenge runs, I always do the same kind of strategy. Maybe he thinks I'm just doing meme in the ESL Cup challenge, you know, do stupid builds in the ESL Cup challenge, but no, we're going to go for planetary rushes every game. I do think he has... Yeah, he does have a Hellion, so I do need to micro this very carefully. Here we go. Good micro so far. Oh, we're actually going to kill... We're going to kill both of those. Really nice win once again. Well, I did actually miss micro that Reaper. Okay, there we go. Um, I actually dodged in the middle of a shot. It's actually a very weird thing with a Reaper, which I think is still a bug. But if you micro too well, so if you, like, kite a little bit too fast, your Reaper only does half damage. So that is kind of what happened there. Uh, and I was really afraid that that was going to cost me my Reaper. But good. Now we have our Cyclone. Let's see if we can start doing any damage. He might go for a Widow Mine again, because that's what he did in the last game. Um, I'm definitely going to expand behind this. Maybe a Widow Mine could be here. Let's be careful for it. I would rather lose a Reaper to it than, uh, you know, a Cyclone, of course. And let's see. There's nothing to be found here. Oh, I'm going to dodge this. And perfect timing for that Cyclone finish. That is actually awesome. There we go. He does have something else there. I think he hasn't quite realized uh, that this is a planetary rush that is coming, guys. So <laughs> that could be pretty promising for us. Let's see. Where, what is the perfect placement for this? I'm going to make it right there. Let's see. He doesn't have anything yet. I wonder if that is a tank building. I'm going to build it right there. I'm actually, oh, it is a cyclone. Oh, that is perfect. Then we can actually out-micro him. Um, there we go. I didn't get my mag field yet. That is the plan. I really want to get Macfield. But if he doesn't have a tank, he actually can't really defend the low ground here. Let's get my Macfield upgrade. And then I'm going to make another command center at home. Okay, there we go. This is the perfect setup so far. We could not have wished for a better start uh, to this planetary wars. Maybe I can kill a Cyclone if he's greedy. Okay, we're not going to be able to. That's unfortunate. Oh, I did get the lock on on mine. That sucks. Maybe I can get his, actually. Oh, wait. Oh, I misclicked. No, I thought I was locked onto his Cyclone. Oops. I was shooting something completely random. I don't know what it was. Uh, it was not his Cyclone, however. So that sucks a little bit for us, but that's okay. I do have a bunch of command centers already. He also is probably going to go up to three command centers, if I had to guess. And now, I don't have a starport. I think I'll just have to go for a second factory. I'm going to send that Cyclone back. Wait, I could, I could probably kill that at some point. If I, if I time this perfectly, I could totally kill that sea tank right there, guys. Let's see. Is it possible? 
I mean, it's a very scary maneuver. Basically, what I have to do is I have to wait until he shoots. Oh, don't do that. I have to wait until he shoots the planetary and then go in and kill it, basically. Hey, there we go. We're going to go for it. Oh, okay, he actually went down on the perfect time. Is that the perfect range? I think we got the perfect range. The planetary is going to kill it. The tank goes down and the cyclone goes down. And, and the raven goes down. Oh my goodness, what was that in human trade, guys? I actually got all of his units, even the raven. I mean, I would have done well enough with just the cyclone and the tank, to be fair. But the raven going down as well is absolutely beautiful. He, he's, that was an accidental scan, I think. I, I can't imagine that he was trying to the scan there. That is not the right uh, position for his scan. I'm just going to keep this here. Maybe I should scout around the map a little bit to see if he might be taking... A hidden base or so. I mean, obviously, my opponent is going to be pretty shook here. This is not a strategy you're expecting at this level in a tournament from a player like me. Or maybe at this point, they are expecting it from me. But wow, this is absolutely beautiful, guys. Are we going to be able to do this? I mean, we're obviously ahead. Are we going to be able to do this against such a high-level player like Cuckoo? I can't really believe it. I mean, I'm going to take my next base. I do have a scan on that command center. Wait, I want this to be back. I need this to be repaired. At some point, he's going to get another tank, though. Uh, and then I can't go for it anymore. Can I repair this from... I think I can repair this, right? I don't think he's actually in range of that. He scans my base, sees that I'm pretty fully mining at this point. I'm just going to go for that tank. Why not? Because it is going to die, most likely. Oh, he didn't actually shoot it. There we go. That tank is going to die. I got the perfect lock on range. And he's still not going to be able to break it. There's another tank. That tank might actually die, guys. There we go. I got a lock onto the tank. Is it going to die? Yeah, we actually got the tank as well. No freaking way, guys. Let's go. <laughs> I am so incredibly happy with this right now. We just need a 6, sometimes 6 point 2k terror player with a freaking planetary rush. And not just that, we actually looked incredibly dominant. Half the resources lost. Guys, can it get any better? Game 1 was a disaster. Game 2 was an absolute miracle. Let's go for game number 3. Game number three in Royal Blood. Do you guys believe in me? I started believing a little bit more after that last game, to be honest. But I guess we'll have to see. Right now, he knows. Okay, after game one, we failed. We did it again. Now he's going to know 100% that we will go for another planetary rush. If I do it after the, the disaster that was game one, aren't we going to do it after an amazing game like game two, right? So now he's going to scout everywhere. I think we should still go for the exact same strategy because it looks strong. But not just did it look strong. I felt like it gave me a lot of space to maneuver. I really felt like even if things didn't go exactly my way, I still had time to micro. I could do some scans, do some outplays here and there. I actually had enough money to build back at home. Excuse me. And that's what I'm going to be looking for here. Now, the question is, how far away do I build my command center so that he doesn't scout it? Because he, trust me, guys, he is going to look. If he doesn't look for a proxy command center after the first two games, then, then, then I don't know. Like, this is just, you know, this has to be a thing. So this map is... Uh, actually, I was going to say it's big. It looks more normal sized. Or is it even small? I'm trying to compare it to the other maps. If you look at the mini map, you can actually kind of tell how big a map is by the size of the minerals and stuff. And it looks kind of big. But if I look at the pathing way, it doesn't really look like a big map. So I don't really know where to classify this map. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, for my strategy, it's not going to matter. I think my strategy is decent on everything. What is very important, however... No ramp in the natural, which means that we can micro represent cyclones without having to worry uh, about getting destroyed, you know, by not having vision up a ramp. So that's going to be very comfortable. Now, I did see an SCV scout on the minimap, which means we are not getting a uh, proxy reaper, at least most likely. Else, I don't know what he's doing. That would be a very crazy proxy reaper. There we go. He is playing um, double gas again, most likely. Gonna build the factory here. And now maybe he's gonna use that SCV to scout. I need to be very smart with my positioning. I think I'm gonna build it here. And the reason why I'm gonna build it right there is because it, it's, it's a place that seems kind of obvious, but you might not scout, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like this is a place where you might not look. It's in between the rocks. It's not neither in the middle or on the side of your map. And I mean, at this point, we have to be very lucky, guys. I'm not going to pretend this is going to be 100% skill. I mean, later on, the micro and stuff is definitely going to be skill-based. But for the early game, uh, you know, I'm just going to have to hope that he doesn't find me. Now, let's see. Oh, he is keeping his Reaper at home, interestingly enough. That is not, not very Cuckoo-like of him. But uh, I guess we'll have to live with it. Now, am I going to make a reactor or am I going to make more of these units oh nice we're gonna be able to find a cc right now he knows that i'm proxying because else um 
there would be a command center there already. That's actually, I really like the way he scouted there. He kind of waited for my Reaper to show up in his base. Mm -hmm. And then he sent his SUV in knowing he would get the scout off. So now he knows 100%. The question is, what is he going to do about it exactly? Because it's not, it's not the easiest thing ever, right? After you just had such a rough game, uh, what are you going to do to answer for it? Now, let's see. He might go for his own Cyclones. Let's see what I can find here. Okay, I'm going to be annoying. He doesn't have a, th uh, a Hellion, guys. He doesn't have a Hellion. He is going to make make his own Cyclone, in fact. Or he's going to make a super fast tank. But I kind of think it is going to be the Cyclone option. Now, one thing that he might not anticipate. Normally, if you go for the Cyclone build, you make uh, two Reapers and then an add-on. I'm going to have three Reapers. There is a chance I get to fight with one extra Reaper, basically. And that would obviously be absolutely massive. And maybe even more if I could get the lock on to his Cyclone. That's going to be the biggest moment here. Can I get the lock on on his Cyclone? Well, he locks on to a Reaper. That's the question. Oh, he does a, a bunker going up. Yeah, that bunker is going to be tough to deal with. But maybe we can actually circumvent the problem here. Keep in mind, I do have to expand myself as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to make the command center already. And then we're just going to see what I can do. I do really like his strategy though. It's looking pretty strong here, guys. Um, is there something I can do against this in particular? Let's see, I can actually go for that Cyclone. Oh, I did miss it. Wow, that is well done by him. I wanted to go for that Cyclone right away. I think we might have to switch strategies here, guys. I'm going to go for the main base, I think. Let's see. I'm going to lock on the bunker with one Cyclone and save the other lock on. That is the plan for now. Okay, there is something killing my stuff, which is slightly annoying. But I guess I'll just have to deal with it for now. There we go. Let's try to saturate that base. I'm gonna kill the Reaper, which is nice. Good defense by him, though. Like you can tell, his strategy was very focused around denying my planetary rush, and he has successfully done so. Now, there, I don't think it's completely over here because there's gonna be opportunities for me to catch units that are like on the outside. Like, first of all, I can kill this depot, for example. Like right now, it's basically just my scouting command center. Maybe if he has units too close to the edge, I can kill those as well. And I'm gonna rely on using entirely that for damage. Oh, I do need to use this SUV to repair, by the way. I was a little bit late. I, I was wondering, did my SUV die? Oh, that was an accident. There we go. No, I got a second one. Oh, that was almost a one for one trade. Wait, did I lose two cyclones? No, right? I think I lost, or I mean, I lost two, but not three, right? I know I lost two. Uh, but yeah, ooh, that was rough. I thought I was out of range of that tank already. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, how am I going to use this command center? Guys, you know me. I always have the craziest ideas. And I have an idea for how I can use this command center. But it's a little bit insane. I was thinking, what if I save this command center um, for later in the game when he's out on the map and then i just put it next to his base and put a planetary maybe if he's like really busy fighting he might not realize and that way uh we could kind of climb back into the game if he has to spend a lot like dealing with that a lot of time or if he maybe um doesn't realize and i kill a bunch of SCVs, something like that you know it obviously sounds crazy how is he not gonna realize but i mean if people are busy if people are nervous like in tournaments like this honestly you never know I've seen crazier things happen. Now he's... Oh, there's a... Uh, why is there a raven here? I mean, I'm just going to kill the raven. But he's actually pretty nice. There we go. Oh, I don't even lose the cyclone. Okay. Well, that's really nice. I thought I was. I thought the cyclone was dead. I was going to say, well, I'm going to lose a cyclone for it. But uh, not that bad. But not even. Okay. I mean, things going my way a little bit here. Like, obviously, they haven't <laughs> for this game. But right now, they are going my way a little bit. Oh, could this be a double drop? Oh, we might be getting double dropped here. Have I... Hmm. Oh, no. Okay, there's his units. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't see any Marines. The bunker was empty and stuff. So I was like, oh, no. Did I miss, like, a drop going out? That would be absolutely terrifying if that was the case. Let's see. When is he going to unseage? He's going to unseage now. And we're going to be able to grab a tank there, which is really nice. There we go. One tank going down for the cost of nothing. And now I'm going to put this down in his base and see what we can do with it. Going to make that a planetary. We can scout that he's going for bio. Um... Which I guess I already knew. Uh, Cuckoo is not really the kind of guy to go for a mech. Oh, wait. Maybe I can... He, he sent all the Marines back into the main base. You guys, this is an opportunity. We can now use the distraction of that planetary to snipe the third base, perhaps. Let's see if the opportunity is actually here. Oh, the base is not quite there yet. Oh, no. I really thought it was going to be there. Let's try to get a little bit of damage on. Oh, okay. I thought this was about to be the best thing ever. But then he wasn't quite ready with his command center. Oh, that's unfortunate, guys. That was about to be the coolest move of the century, by the way. Just saying. 
Okay, now I do have a nice couple. Yeah, you see, he's really scared of the cycles, as he should be. Let's see. Oh, there's going to be a nice tank snipe, actually. There we go. Another free tank going down. I mean, we are doing as good as we possibly can. I think I used my command center in a good way. It was a distraction. I got another tank for it. I delayed his base. Got a few marines. Like, obviously, it could be better, but uh, is that something we're going to be sad about? I don't think so. I think it's pretty good, in fact. Now, his army is still terrifying to me. We should be very happy that I sniped that Raven, by the way. Ravens against Mech are absolutely insane. Yeah, he's not going to move out uh, anytime soon at all, most likely. I do have... Like I was going to say, I don't have a lot of air, but I do have some Vikings on the way. Um, if my opponent decides to... Okay, there he is. Oh, that is such unlucky timing on those turrets, guys. Damn, this would have been really awesome for us, but instead uh, it became less than awesome. Well, maybe it's still going to be pretty decent, to be fair. Let's see, I have a few more Cyclones. Maybe he doesn't expect that I have that many Cyclones here. SCVs, please stop blocking your own homies. Uh, that is not what you... Oh my god, these SCVs are really messing up my pathing here, guys. I mean, we still cleared it up pretty much for free. Uh, I think we lost maybe one or two units, but... Uh, it really could have been a lot worse. Now, let's make sure to actually get those turrets. Oh my god, the, the unit AI is not working for me right now, guys. I can tell you guys that much. <laughs> Please land. Oh my god. That's an absolute disaster. Um, do I have enough units to go across with? Oh, he actually damaged that turret, but he didn't kill it. Let's see. Oh, he is moving out right now. I don't know where he is, but it seems that he's somewhere on the map. So, my game plan now... Um, is to smash his army when he attacks me like uh yeah maybe like a little bit prematurely like tries to get in a little bit too early um then i can smash his army and then i can counter attack to victory because i i don't think i can really come back in this game macro wise like as you see he does have a bunch of stuff he's gonna go for it this is one of those attacks that i was telling you guys about this does not look like the best fight ever uh, i'm gonna be able to land the vikings on top of his tanks he barely has enough left over looks like and oof it was not quite as bad of a fight as I had hoped for, guys. That sounds really weird to say, but obviously you guys know as bad of a fight for him. Um, but I am getting some more out. I do have a tank here. I hope that my tank actually comes to the low ground. Oh, what are you doing there, Mr. Tank? Not uh, doing much useful, I guess. That is one thing to say. Oh, he's going to try to load in here. This is actually a pretty good move for me, I think. I'm going to be able to kill all of his bio units, and I'm not going to lose uh, that much in the end to it. So that's really nice. Please don't be in range. Okay, thank goodness. Well, oh, that tank is 1 HP. Please don't go. That would have been a little bit sad. Let's see, I'm going to siege it up. I have a bunch of liberators on the way. N not, just, not just one, actually. I do have a bunch of libs on the way. There we go. You're going to siege right there. And that's going to be pretty nice. Oh, the marines with stim are actually going to kill it, I think. No, it stays alive. Beautiful. Oh, the last marine that stimmed didn't actually kill them. Oh, no. Things barely not going my way here. I'm doing my best, guys, but... Um, I feel like I'm... I wouldn't say unlucky, but the things are just like barely not going my way, which is unfortunate. He might be going for it now. Keep in mind, I told you guys, he is a little bit of a YOLO player. I do have my SCB. These SCBs can go back. These Liberators are going to take care of a bunch of those tanks. Let's see, I, I can't afford to land that Liberator. I just don't have enough firepower left. I do feel like I'm pretty close to actually defending this. Um, but just not quite enough. I got another tank here on the high ground. I'm going to be able to siege that, siege the Liberator there. And maybe I can bait him into my tank up here. Yeah, that tank actually got a really nice hit off. There we go. I'm going to siege some more tanks there. That actually goes down. That is really nice. Oh, I wish I didn't... Yeah, the tanks are barely... Oh, they are barely arranged. Let's go. That is massive. Kill that Marine first. And then that one. And now we're going to be able to have free reign on those tanks. And miraculously, we have still survived, which is insane. Here we go. Is that in range of the tanks this time? I really hope so. Please, tanks, do something. Okay, they're not quite going to do it, but they were close. I'm going to land just so I can kill those that one Marine. There we go. The one Marine dies. So many units dying to these freaking Liberators, actually, but we just barely didn't have enough. And at this point, I am sadly running out of money. I mean, breaking this would just be too costly. I could break it. I'm fairly sure that I could break I mean, I think I just have to, honestly. Uh, I don't think there really is another option here. We are going to have to go for this break. I'm going to be using my Hellbats to do it. There we go. Getting my Hellbats in range is the first step. 
I'm going to be able to kill his Medivax, which is nice. I mean, we are going to survive. That tank is going to... No, it is going to die. That is nice. I barely have any SCVs left whatsoever, though. But I really am trying my best to hang in there. I will never give up on my planetary fortress, guys. I will always keep fighting in this series. And I mean, it's not even the series. But whenever I do this, I'm going to fight till the bitter end. I mean, he still doesn't have to, too. I kind of thought he might. Oh, that's a really good drop by him. And he is going to kill my final units. And there we go. GG, well played. Well done, babe. If you look at the supply, it actually looked relatively close, despite what it looked like. I felt like he was going to be 160 or something but guys personally i absolutely love this episode i really wanted to do this for a while game against grandmaster protos was an absolute banger game two of this series was just so good it actually filled me with energy i loved it so much hope you guys loved it as much as i did make sure to give the video a like subscribe to the channel and to see you all for the next one adios